Good evening everyone, short video on uh, two more projects, Husqvarna 61, complete uh, chainsaw, as you can see he hasn't seen much use in his life, um, so the description was that uh, the guy, uh, the person that uh, sold this, tried to start it and uh, it didn't start. So I'm not surprised because uh, we'll have a first thing I done. I just uh, uh, try to see if he has spark and uh, remove the spark plug. And uh, what to see is that the end comes out. And uh, obviously the spark plug is faulty and I've uh, tried it with this one and it does spark but obviously this one is 19 mil socket rather than the small one the how much is this 70 so yeah it's gonna have uh, different or a new spark plug other than that it's all uh, in good order I might I'm gonna it's gonna be fully stripped cleaned and uh, yeah I'll check the bearings if they need doing I'll do them if they don't I'll uh, leave it uh, as it is with the original doesn't sound uh, very bad I actually doesn't make any noise uh, bearing noise I'll change the pull start because it's a little bit chewed, maybe by mice or uh, I don't know. Yeah, so uh, good uh, chain, so good uh, chain break. Um, I think uh, this uh, this chassis Husqvarna is one of the easiest to work on. Obviously, it's gonna have brand new seals, crank seals. Uh, take off the the, the cylinder clean it take off the piston so uh, I'll uh, I'll go in depth uh, with the video of uh, what am I gonna do um, he has the cover a little bit uh, damage here but uh, nothing uh, bad I'll be able to wash it uh, push it uh, push that back and uh, uh, plastic welded from inside uh, I'll make it like uh, like new maybe a little bit of JB weld on top yeah so it's gonna be a good uh, project uh, this Husqvarna 61 he has this uh, muffler not I'm not uh, very fan of to be honest it's uh, quite restricted I have a couple of uh, replacements with uh, they are hollow with just a round uh, outlet pipe so I'll see how that uh, will fit I believe uh, this uh, piston ju judging by the studs is a uh, um, closed port no it's an open port uh, open port most probably one second I have have one here yeah looks similar so this is an open port but uh, until uh, I remove it I won't know for sure if it's an open port uh, is uh, is good I would have uh, I would have liked to be well, we'll see. I would like to be a closed port piston because I can, uh, you know, lose the transfers, the bottom transfers all the way to the crankcase and uh, increase a little bit. But as it is, uh, it has compression. Very good. The chain brake works. Yeah, very nice positive action. Uh, air filter, original and quite clean just need washing so yeah 
underneath the same yeah so just overall a nice uh, chainsaw uh, okay second uh, project Dolmar 112 with uh, points ignition so condenser and uh, the coil and the points underneath the flywheel um, no spark came with no spark this one as well managed to obtain the spark I have the spark now I've cleaned the points removed the flywheel cleaned the points um, look at the piston is like new yeah just dirty but is what to expect uh, after all these years um good uh, anti vibes are still good yeah not uh, nothing broken no no play at all in the clutch drum nothing it's just solid um is a little bit worn but uh, it's nice and smooth I have the cover, no damage, filter included, exhaust is over here, so exhaust, just need cleaning obviously, yeah, um, chain brake right here, functioning, so all in all, um, two nice projects, I think I'll start with this one not now but uh, from uh, following days and um, yeah go over everything this month dismantle clean everything that's needed to be sorry just mosquito just go the, the sucker yeah so it looks uh, clean fairly clean Apart from the dirt, I mean, uh, if you look at the handle, is yeah. this is uh, 51cc Husqvarna 61. Obviously, the names uh, the name tells it is uh, 61. Um, yeah, I I believe uh, I can uh, install a spike from from a Makita 520 or uh, 6000 I'll see how it goes I have uh, I have to see but uh, yeah we have a bar stud that is, both of them actually turning into but they they just undone not the thread is still there so know some loctite or some uh, jb weld but uh, again this wasn't much used and uh, someone just parked it and uh, lost the spark because of the uh, points uh, corrosion and uh, yeah i'll uh, it's gonna be like new again if you, if obviously cylinder off clean the carbon on the exhaust piston cleaned clean the top removed it check the play but what can, play can it be on on a such a small chain so it doesn't have much power but uh, is uh, very reliable and uh, solid all uh, aluminium uh, alloy guys uh, that's it uh, thank you very much these are the two projects yeah so Husqvarna and the uh, Dolmar 112 I had a uh, couple of these including the anniversary edition with uh, which is all uh, silver with black and 
yeah i feel i believe those are uh, electronic but uh, yeah i'll check uh, i'll check the spark uh, if it's in, in on timing with everything if not uh, i have a uh, 120 under the bench which has a coil so i'll remove everything just install the coil you know take a wire actually use this existing wire to the switch back to the coil and that's it is converted to electronic because uh, the pickup the magnets north and south are on the outside of the of the flywheel rather than on inside as or as on uh, uh, other chainsaws okay long uh, story short uh, two more projects and uh, yeah more to come um, it's a uh, yeah these two will be fun especially the Husqvarna I want to uh, rebuild that uh, I want to make it as uh, as new thank you very much all the best